we have here these god awful shoes right um i'm not sure what the fuck is going on here and somehow <laughs> they disabled the comments on this post as well <laughs> holy shit what the fuck are these what you know you know that what are, what are those this is i know that meme's dead now but what are those needs to come back for these hush puppies brings back a model that predates the chunky trend or hush puppies brings back a model no one asks for or hush puppies tries to get involved in the chunky shoes trend or hush puppy brings back the fucking awfulest shoes i've seen in my life like wow these are god awful um again god awful but there's a part of me that thinks if one of these like japanese dudes who are reading these magazines right if one of these Japanese dudes from a magazine like this, from a magazine like Asayan, you can't see it from there, but if one of these Japanese dudes, these streetwear Japanese guys wore them, I think they might be able to get away with them. I think they could make them look cool. But I, as a young black dude who prefers to wear trainers like these, I don't think, you know, to say chunky shoe trend, I don't think these wave runners look anything like those bloody, I don't know what they're called. I, those, those are the kind of shoes where you look down and you can't tell what's right or left short, innit? They're that squared off. But they don't think they was, those look like anything like to do with Wave Runners. They just look like, I don't know. And again, Velcro shoes. There's going to be a time, right, where Velcro shoes come back in, right? Because I'm sure there's a time where wearing shoes like these in your life, you look like an absolute dullard, right? Fix old shoes, loads of paneling, um, the colours are all over the place. I know there was, you know, there was a time when that's like, that looked stupid. But Velcro shoes, wow. And they don't even drop, right? How do you make Velcro shoes look like, you know... Anyway, um, so um, these shoes are god awful. They've got a massive strap on the outside. There's no more pictures of them. Just what I see here. They sort of, they sort of look like the shoes you'd see at like a shoe zone, right? With like a bit of a sneakery-ish sole. The sole isn't even that chunky, really, for the looks of it. Um, they've got a massive Velcro strap on the front. It's sort of like a loafer shape with a square box toe on it. And again, it's the kind of shoe that you couldn't tell what's your left foot and right foot. Um, they come in a range of pastel colors, if that's your way inclined, an off-white, a sort of peach, a lilac, and a sky blue. Um, uh, yeah, wow, super horrendous. What's the text say? Um, the text says this, trends... T t <laughs> you can't make you can't make that shoe and then start your text with trends because i don't know if that what trend that is but you, you know the trend of ugly shoe this is like ugly shoe with a capital u this is another level trends tend to be fickle but rather than bending to the will of the culture hush puppies looked to its own archive for making this modern it's modest dad shoe the label has tapped into its catalog of over 60 years of design to revive the power walker <laughs> yo if you see an influencer wearing these on instagram they got paid the massive the biggest check of their lives like there's no way an influencer can wear these and still keep your credibility that's the thing that i love about the old school influencers like hiroshi fujiwara and stuff here yeah, from back in the day where is it it's from here yeah, there you go i've got this book right from hiroshi fujiwara uh called personal effects it's a collection of all his um um, it's a personal of, of all his personal items, stuff that he's kind of collected over the years, some collaborations on whatever. But if you read a if you leave any interview with um, Hiroshi Fujiwara, he really credits himself on only collaborating with on only collaborating with brands that make the things that he actually likes. So much so that over the years, he's probably been the only person who's been able to kind of you know jump from brand to brand, some of them competing and not have any kind of conflict of interest, right? All the brands kind of want to stamp have these kind of Thunderbolt logo stamped on the side of his items. But that comes from an era of influencer where you went out and bought the stuff that you liked, showcased it on your socials or your on your blog. And make, social media was really a thing back then. But I remember I used to do that quite often, and you get reached out by companies about, "Hey, we like what you read, read, read about our company. Here's some free stuff." That's how you did it back in the day. But nowadays, kids are just will take any collaboration just to get a check, right? And for me, I think if I was a kid and if I was 16, I was following an influencer and I saw him posted up at London Fashion Week wearing these fucking god awful shoes, I stopped following him. Like I stop, I'd be like, you know what? It's enough. Done. We're not. We're not. We're not. You've you've lost a follower in me because these are horrendous. But anyway, let's let's continue with the copy because um, somebody has to write this. Um, worn by health conscious ge geratics, um, adorned by sardonic art school kids. Sardonic art school kids. What the fuck is sardonic? Um, the 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 the, the look up sardonic. What is sardonic? Sardonic. Uh, grimly mocking or cynical attempted at sardonic. It's, sardonic is mocking. So what? Sarcastic sneering art school kids. Why do you want the sneering art school kid to wear your shoe? 
That's a weird way to describe your uh, potential customer. But hey, what do I know? The label's reissue brings back its tried and tre- tried and trusted construction of a new generation. Um, uh, to a new generation, bulky features that have excited the footwear zeitgeist are present in a duo of restrained uh, restrained options. Where's what? Bulky features that have excited footwear zeitgeist are pres- are present in a duo of restraint options. Wearers can choose whether either velcro or lace. Oh, velcro or lace. Blech. The imprint extends a modern touch by adding colors to the sneakers. Uh, so old and new fans can style their ensembles in a variety of hues. The power is available today for nine 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 ninety five. Okay, let's see the website. Oh my fucking god, Power Walker. This is terrible. Honestly, I'm out. I'm out. That picture there at the front or the top, right? I'm out straight away. I'm out. I'm out. And why are they giving me notifications of offers? I don't care about your offer. I'm out. I'm out straight away. Out, 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 X, gone. I'm out. Oh my God. Um, yeah, I guess if you want them, go get them. They're $100. I'm not sure why you'd want to wear these with all the other shoes out there available on the market. But, you know, we will have our own taste. But wow, these are absolutely terrible. Probably the worst shoe I've seen this year. Easily the worst shoe I've seen this year. Mamma mia.